there are 300,000 kids in the United States that have rheumatoid arthritis. It's almost as if their childhood has been robbed from them because they don't get to experience the uh, joy of having every day feeling great. Instead, they have to deal with this chronic problem that's always there, always bugs them, and it causes them pain. And it's just a terrific, tremendous burden for them to carry and have to deal with on a constant basis. I'm Dr. Fraser Perkins, and I'm an anesthesiologist, which is a doctor of anesthesia at Torrance Memorial Medical Center. I've been a runner since I was 18, and I've kept with it for almost 50 years. And this year was the first year that I qualified to run in the Boston Marathon. And then as I went through the running process and qualified, I thought it'd be kind of interesting and good if I could really make it count for something more than just me. I'm using my joints. I'm very lucky to have healthy joints. And I really like the, the combination and the connection between using my joints that are healthy to help people that have joints that are not so healthy. And particularly when I realized that it involved children and kids, I thought, this is great. I contacted Christine and asked her if she would be at all interested in this. And as soon as she found out about this, she was on board right away. And from there, she just made things happen. I've known Christine for about five years, and I remember having a conversation with her, and it came out that she was, uh, had arthritis, but Christine's arthritis was different. She has something called rheumatoid arthritis. What most people don't realize is that rheumatoid arthritis affects not only adults, but also a tremendous number of kids. The way the Boston Marathon is set up, you are bused from downtown Boston, where we were staying, out to a town called Hopkinton, which is about 26 miles away from Boston. I knew early on this is gonna be a very different race than what I'd run before, and it was. When I hit the hills, my time really slowed down. I became very warm, and even though I had been drinking a lot of water, uh, it really caught up with me, and I was forced to walk part of it. And this is, if you've trained for a, a, a run, and you're a runner, the last thing you want to have to do in a long race is to walk part of it. But I didn't have any choice. I had nothing left. So I had to walk the last part of it, and I remember thinking, you know, this is really difficult. And I thought, these kids face so much more that what I'm having to deal with, that uh, for me to even think about being unhappy or complaining is just not right at all. I mean, these kids put up with so much more all the time, that it's a constant struggle. And I felt so lucky that I just had something that was gonna get better with time. What really separates the Arthritis National Research Foundation from other organizations is that the focus is on research. And it's through research that doctors, and nurses, and healthcare professionals can come up with new treatments, and the difference is that the benefits that come from this organization can be shared with everyone who has rheumatoid arthritis. And then running for the kids made it special because I wasn't just running for me, but I was also running for the organization. I was running for the kids, I was running for the money that we could raise, and I was running for the research that would come from this effort and that made it particularly special for me this year. We raised over $10,000, and I just feel so happy and so uh, fortunate to have been part of this and make it bigger than just about one individual and, and make this effort on behalf of kids who suffer and who potentially will benefit from the money that we raised. And I want to thank all the people who donated and supported my effort. It really made me feel energized and excited and happy, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you so very much.